Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to mix a rap song in Adobe Audition using only plugins that come with Audition. And here is the thing, I'm still going to use a couple VSTs that um, don't come with Adobe, but they're free. And you really need some more punch if you want to get a better mix. So I'm going to put the download links to these in the description and I'll show you my settings and everything so you can use them. But this is not going to cost you any money. They're real easy to install. So yeah, I just I just want you guys to be aware of that. So here we go. So here's the song I'm going to mix. This is a challenge, a rap challenge where people gave me words and I was using their words into a rap. So let me just go ahead and play this audio for you so you can hear what it sounds like before. <clears throat> hey, bonjour, j'ai fixé des normes, et hey, appris à un autre niveau translator, let you type it in yourself, a new crave form in my belly of a bell for these beats I be garment. I for sure been foreshadowing mark me. These so you can hear it, uh, sounds all right. It was recorded at a pretty decent level. Um, but yeah, we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a compressor to it. And this is a multi-band compressor. This comes with Audition. So to find this, just go to this arrow, amplitude and compression, and multi-band compressor. So uh, let's turn these effects on. Turn these ones off. And I've already mixed this, so I'm just gonna show you my settings. Um, you can copy these if you want, but just remember, depending on your voice, you're gonna have to adjust um, all these settings. So basically, this is the lows, low mids, uh, high mids, I guess, and highs. So this is changing how much of each frequency is compressed within your voice. So let me just play the audio before and after with this on. So I'll start with before and then I'll turn it on and give you the after. <clears throat> hey. Bonjour, j'ai fixé des normes, a hey, appris à un autre niveau translator, let you type it in yourself, a new crave form in my belly of a bell for these beats I be garment, I for sure been foreshadowing mark me, these poor dorks overshadow. So as you can hear it beefens it up, uh, it kind of makes it a little bit brighter, drops off some of the lows, just makes it easier to hear. Let me show you the beat that we're mixing on as well, because that'll help you. Pipe, pipe with me. Hey. So you can hear the beat is one of those, you know, old school. It's got a lot of frequencies in it that could clash with your voice. Um, yeah, so that is the first compressor I added. This actually has two compressors on it. The second is called Rough Rider, and this is one of those uh, compressor VSTs that you can get for free online, and I'll post the link on where to get that in the description. So you can see... Um, I adjusted these settings to fit my voice. Uh, so you got your ratio, your attack, release, sensitivity, and makeup, which is just like a makeup gain knob to make it louder based on you know how much quieter it's making it because it's squishing it together with the compressor. So let me play uh, with and without this so you can hear that. Translator, let you type it in yourself. A new crave form in my belly of a bell for these beats I be garment. I for sure been foreshadowing mark me. These poor dorks overshadow looking swarthy. My store stocks more punch than you orange guys drop. So tour thoughts for more drop comments. I want to hash you, want to capture the guy to rap I don't. So you can hear it really beefens it up again and uh, makes it sound a lot more smooth. Uh, you don't have as many ups and downs in the audio level. So let me play with the beat. So it makes it sound pretty good. So now for the next uh, effect, this is called After 64, and this is a mastering processor. So what I'm using it for, as you can see, these are, that's actually not being used. Uh, this is barely being used. Okay, so this is a mastering processor, and it has a clarity knob, which kind of adjusts your uh, high mids, and it makes it more clear punch body and arrow and this is kind of the same as the clarity knob but i've got body turned all the way up and punch turned all the way up so that's going to add a little bit more compression as well uh, so let me play with and without this so you can hear that i'll start without and then play with Hi. Hi to me. Hey. 
Georges, they fix they Norbe. I pre, I own alter need, but translator let you type it in yourself. A new cray form in my belly over bell for these beats. I be dormant. I for sure been foreshadowed and marked me. These so you can hear it really makes it a lot more smooth. It smoothens out the mids and the highs, and it gives it that body. That body knob really does a lot. I use that on everything I mix. Um, yeah, so the next thing I have on here is an equalizer. This is a parametric EQ. It comes with Adobe Audition. Uh, so you can see I'm rolling off some of the lows, a little bit of the low mids. And I'm kind of boosting the, the high mids, and I don't really... I actually rolled off a little bit of the highs, but uh, yeah, this is... This is getting some of those frequencies out that I don't want in it clashing with the instrumental. So let's play without and with that. Hey, bonjour, j'ai fixé des normes. A pre, a un autre niveau translator. Let you type it in yourself. A new cray form in my belly over bell for these beats. I be dormant. I for sure been foreshadowed and marked me. These poor dorks overshadow looking swarthy. My store stocks more punch than you. So you can see that it takes out those kind of harsh frequencies that are making it pop out of the mix and it's making it sit uh, more in the mix than on top of it. So the uh, second to last thing I have is a de -esser. This is Toneman de -esser. This is also free. You can get this online. Um, here's all my settings. I'll put a link to this in the description. And this is going to kill those sibilants S sounds and all the harsh kind of high-end sounds that you would get from being close to the microphone. So let's play without and with that. Bonjour, j'ai fixé des normes. A pre, a un autre niveau translator. Let you type it in yourself. A new cray form in my belly over bell for these beats. I be dormant. I for sure been foreshadowed and marked me. These poor dorks overshadowed looking swarthy. My st so you can see it smoothens it out the rest of the way. It gets rid of those harsh S sounds and Right now, it sounded really good in the mix. So that's pretty much it. I don't know if you guys saw, but I accidentally had a reverb on there, but there, I didn't have any reverb on this mix. Um, so if you wanted to add reverb with a built-in Adobe Audition plugin, I would use uh, Studio Reverb. You can adjust all your parameters here. And um, if you want to get something, like this is about the settings that I would be using. So you can actually transfer over most of these settings to the Adobe one. It's not going to be exactly the same, but most of them are going to transfer over and you can play with it and make it sound how you want. But for the most part, that's the mix on this um, rap in Adobe Audition. Uh, I got criticized on Seasons for saying uh, that it's rap when it was more of a melodic thing. So dude that left that comment, here you go. It doesn't get more rap than this. Uh, if you want to hear the, the finished mix on this, I have the video posted on my YouTube channel, so go check that out. Also, I just dropped a new single called Champagne Problems. The link to that is going to be in the description. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.